Hi, Chris with RC Worst here. Today we're going to take a look at the Franklin Electric Standard and Deluxe Control Boxes. Now these boxes are designed and optimized specifically for use with Franklin Electric 230 volt 3 wire single phase motors rated from 1 horsepower on up to 15 horsepower. Control boxes are an integral part of a 3 wire submersible motor. Franklin Electric rigorously tests the components inside these control boxes to ensure that these are the most reliable and robust available in the industry today. Franklin control boxes provide long-lasting, reliable operation for optimal system performance as compared to nearly any other products on the market. Franklin Electric offers their boxes in standard and deluxe models. Now the deluxe models differ from the standard in that they contain a magnetic line contactor which is carefully matched to the motor rating, eliminating the need for an external line contactor. So let's open up these boxes and take a look at the components. So we have here uh, two different control boxes, two horsepower rating on either of the boxes. This over here, we have the deluxe box, which features the uh, built-in contactor, and then the standard control box, which doesn't feature this contactor. So with the standard and deluxe control boxes, they are offered all the way up to 10 horsepower in the standard and deluxe configuration. And that's because in a lot of cases, or at least in a number of cases, uh, an external line contactor is going to be used more specifically for cases where you may have a, a distance factor from the pressure switch. Uh, but there are certainly other circumstances that apply. These boxes are simple, compact, pre-wired, and organized very nicely and very neatly labeled. You can see if I tilt the box forward, when it comes to installation, your L1 and L2 incoming wires are very simple and easy to identify and land. And then of course your uh, yellow, black, and red, which go down to the pump motor, are obviously very well labeled as well. A couple of ground lugs, and uh, that essentially completes the, uh, the needed wiring. These enclosures are rated for indoor or outdoor use. A basic troubleshooting guide and wiring diagram are included inside the face of the control box including part numbers for the replacement of individual components as needed. There are multiple knockouts, including multiple sizes of knockouts on the bottom of these boxes. Equipped with a start and a main capacitor, the start capacitor gives the motor a jolt to get it spinning. The run capacitor is going to keep the motor running after the initial startup. There's a small white relay in the back of the control box here that uh, switches between the start and the run capacitor during motor startup. There are external overloads, which can be accessed on the bottom of the control box, which allow you to reset the, uh, the overload when tripped. And this can also help to identify when there's a problem with startup and also prevent the pump or motor from running when a problem has occurred. So to identify the overloads, again, the, uh, the main winding here is gonna be on the left uh, and the start is gonna be right over here on the right. The overloads will allow the motor to run at maximum load up to 122 degrees Fahrenheit. And then they will, of course, trip the overload. So when it comes to the overloads on these boxes, you want to be aware of the temperature outside because if the temperature inside the box exceeds 122 degrees Fahrenheit, i.e. some direct sunlight uh, bearing down on the box if it's mounted outdoors, that's going to cause or can cause some nuisance tripping on the overloads. A good solution to avoiding the nuisance trips is to mount the box indoors or in an area where it's not going to get direct sunlight. For more information on these boxes, you can visit rcworst.com where you can download the Franklin Electric AIM manual. And this book is essentially the uh, master's troubleshooting guide of anything related to submersible motors and their components. Uh, motors, controls, checking your wiring, and so forth. So this, this particular manual is very handy, and, and I use it nearly every day. You can find these control boxes, as well as other great products, on rcworst.com. If you have any questions about what we talked about today, please leave those in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video or found it useful, hit that like button and subscribe, and we'll get some more videos out to you. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.